Hello everyone, this is again Srinivas from Head of Academics, Venter Academy. We have been receiving a lot of calls and emails regarding how the counselling is going to happen in Tamil Nadu. So there has been a lot of anxious students and, as and parents calling us to find out how the state government counselling is going to take place and how the All India counselling is going to take place. Every when the state court has seats allowed out for the, every All India court has seats allowed out for the, every self-financing private medical college seat allowed out for the. So we thought this video would be useful to you. On the whole, in our state, we have close to 3,450 government seats. So in the 3,450 seats, 15% of the whole is goes to the All India quota, where all the students across the state across the country can apply for this. So 15% at the approximate our 500 seats. So we have close to 2,900 seats, which is the 85% remaining. That is only for the students of Tamil Nadu. Then we have 10 self-financing private medical college in our state. So we have 1,500 seats. In this, we have close to 65% of seats, which is at a fees of uh, 4 lakhs per year, which comes under the state government counseling. So we have 2,900 plus close to 1,000 thousand seats which comes under the government state quota. And then we have the remaining set of seats in the self-financing private medical college which is at a slightly higher fees close to 12.5 to 13 lakhs. Thus on the whole we have 4,000 seats. Approximately 3,000 seats will come under the government college quota at a fees of 13,500 per year. And then we have another 1,000 seats which comes at a fee structure of 4 lakhs per year. So this is what we all want to look at. This counselling is conducted by the state government. The Directorate of uh, Medical Education is going to conduct the state government counselling and is expected to be in the third or the fourth week of June. So first they would be releasing a notification for the state government counselling where you have to fill your choices online followed by which you are expected to get a call letter on this and you would be called for a physical counselling in the fourth week of June. So at the point of time once the forms are out I'll be releasing one more video on this on which I will be explaining how to apply and what are the things you're supposed to carry to the counselling so again I'm in depth of the park law in the month of June. So this is going to be the state uh, counselling. Now moving on to the cutoff. So last year 2017, how was the cutoff? What are the, what are the cutoff ranges between different castes? So last year, in the open category, 590 was the highest cutoff, which of course the first uh, most preferred college is Madras Medical College. So 590 was the highest cutoff and you can take it as the last most uh, least wanted college, least to be preferred college, which you can call it as uh, Pudukote Medical College. So that was possible at a cutoff of 374. So this was for the open quota. Then when we take the backward community, it started with a higher cutoff of 570 and it came up to 310. And then comes the most backward class, the MBC quota. We had a higher cutoff of 560 and the lowest cutoff was 250. So the LMA was the last year cutoff which I feel that probably another 25 to 40 marks would be the extra cut off this, this year. So this is based upon the feedback of the biology paper. The biology paper is relatively easy and at the same time chemistry also was to an extent, I mean relatively better than uh, last year. And on the whole, the number of aspirants have also increased. Last year, we had 88,000 students on the exam, but this year close to 2 lakh students have appeared. So there is an overall increase in the number of students and the paper also was relatively easy when it comes to biology. So cutoff might be slightly, let's say 25 to 40 marks more than last time. Then we have the deemed, deemed universities in Tamil Nadu. So all the deemed universities across India, Idellame comes under one roof, which has been, the counseling has been conducted by the MCC, the Medical College Committee. It has been conducted by this body. And for this, you have to go and apply to this counseling. It's called mcc.nic.in. So you do know in detail in the month of June once uh, forms are released, once the notification is out. I'll explain in detail as to how you log into that page, how do you give choices and how careful you should be in giving the choice. Because thing is that if you're going to choose something in the first counseling and if you get it and if you want a better call in the second counseling, that's not possible. So choice, excising the choice is a very important aspect which you have to be very careful. 
So in detail, we'll see in the month of June as to how do you apply for the deemed universities in the MCC website, how do you state government website, le, state government online filling, how do you do this in detail, we would see. But all I would like to tell you now is, there is nothing to panic now. You all have to wait for your results. And when you, you have to go through this process, there is no other uh, alternate way. You have to go through this process. You have to first go through the MCC website for the deemed universities. And the third week of June, the state government counseling forms would be out. You have to go through this process. Thus, let's wait for the results for June 5th. And we'll discuss in detail again regarding the possible probable cutoffs for the respective colleges. And again, the counseling process in detail. We'll guide you on the base of the web screen screenshots in detail.